place. Look at that. Look at those hills, calm water. Nobody else at the boat ramp. Well, I got a little bit of an update and a little update about the channel, and it's all because of this guy over here. He don't know it, but he is the problem with my channel. So, um, found out yesterday that I qualified for this, uh, what is it, the Bass Nation. Oh, it's, Bass Nation. it's a kayak tournament that I did. I, I, you don't got a fish, do you? <laughs> this dude, what was that? Is that a smallmouth or? A little, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell what that was. He's over here throwing a rooster tail. But he's got me out. We're going kayaking. And that's going to be a theme I'm going to be doing a lot here uh, probably next couple months is a bunch of kayaking. I got We got a tournament um, in two weeks, a river tournament. Then we got uh, the week after that, it's a two-day tournament that we're both doing for the cast uh, the, for the state tournament. And um, and then there's going to be some more after that, maybe another state tournament if we, if we can qualify for it. Oh, qualify. But this guy definitely already is. He, he's, he's way ahead. Through our tournament trail, um, we both qualified with the points. Um, Josh is in the lead. He might win the whole thing with the Angler of the Year points. But I've had a couple good tournaments where I was able to jump up there and be able to qualify for this tournament. So I got a lot of kayaking coming up, uh, but we're kayaking a really cool river, but we actually might do some wading today. So enough of that. Just just pre be prepared. Bunch of kayaking, hopefully some tournament winning. Who knows? It's gonna be some fun stuff. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I'm glad he got me into this. I really enjoy this kayaking and doing the tournaments. It's something that I've never did before, and it's I'm really having fun doing my second year doing it. Fish. Oh. Hey, that'd be a good keeper. Ooh, he's about 13 and a half. So, fish number one, the large mouth. Go. There's one on the spinner bait. Not another, not a bad one. Another about a 13 incher. Large mouth. Uh, is it large or? Yeah. It's about the same size. Another long, skinny one. Now he's a little bit smaller than the first one, but we're, we're getting around this corner. Josh is getting some really cool drone footage. I can't wait to go check it out on his channel. And um, I'm trying. I've been. I changed up the set. The setup I have here. I got a bait caster that I want to use for a spinner bait. And um, I changed the rod it was on. I put it on this medium heavy 610 rod. Got 20 pound braid on there. First fish on it. Yeah. Oh, there's two of them. They're out in the middle. That's a good fish. Dude, that's a good one. He was out in the middle and there was another one with it. Spinnerbait may be the thing. I was casting over here and it got real shallow. Cast out over here just across. And this is of course more of the creek channel over here. That's a that's a good fish right there. Fourteen and a half inches. Already got my three fish limit. I got some upgrading to do. <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> I'm glad I used that spinner bait. It right off that tree. I paused it for a second and then when I pulled it back up again, he was on there. About a 12 incher. They're choking the spinnerbait though. 
That's why I don't usually use a, use a uh, trailer hook. Look how far that's down there. Like, cause usually when they want to hit it, they're just going to hit it. So I don't mess with the trailer hook most of the time. This is it. We need time now. All right, we're getting up here to the creek coming in and usually there's some feeding fish up in here. It's really, it gets shallow, it gets rocky. Okay. Man, the gnats. Nats. Are they all over you? No. Oh, dude, I just, I'm getting swarmed by them. Oh, there we go. Got one? Yep. Yeah. A little smiley. Yep. Yeah. Woo! Good job, dude. Followed my spinner right up. I kind of paused it again, like I did last one, and he hit it. There we go. That's like that's one other reason I came up here. I figured there'd be some smallmouth. That's what we're kind of hoping on. And nothing, nothing giant, but pretty uh, 12 inch, 11, 12 inch one right there. I don't know if I showed that spinnerbait. That was a, just a, a booyah, pretty common one that you use. I forget what it's called. It's a little bit smaller frame. It's got a little swim bait trailer on it. There you go. Josh got hooked up way up here. Uh, we're gonna get out right here and uh, try to go upstream a little bit and if we can get some these pockets and just uh, do a little bit of fishing and then we can always work our way back down. I'm not wearing my life jacket. Oh, oh yeah. And there we go. Whew. Need a little bath. Luckily, my phone is waterproof. The gun didn't get too wet. I can dry out. Wallet. And I got a little wet. Yeah, I don't know why I can't get a, I ain't got a bite or nothing right here. It's just. Oh. <laughs> oh, if I got all that or not. Oh, but it messed up my GoPro. Dude. <laughs> I wouldn't break your rod. <laughs> you sounded rough. I heard thong. Dude, there was no catching myself. Oh, my goodness. Well, we didn't catch any fish, but that was definitely exciting. So I fell twice, and then Josh falls right at our kayaks. So um, we got a little wet, you know, no fish, but we, we went up there to try a little bit. We're going to get back in our kayaks and work our way down. Hopefully the fish will keep biting. We've already caught several and we're just gonna love to get a couple good ones. There's definitely big small mouth and large mouth in here. Oh, what? I don't know. I saw whatever. That yeah, I, it definitely got thumped. I thought I had it. I was like, oh yeah. I think it was just a small one. I don't know. He, he held onto it really good. I'd say he didn't get hooked. I just saw my lure like disappear right after it hit the water. Well, it's deeper over here, but I ain't, got a, I ain't had a bite. I've seen a couple of fish. Oh, oh, there we go. Got it. Oh yeah, it's a good one. That's a good one. Wait, what is this? Oh yeah, that's a good, ah, he's not a giant, but he's thick, like you said, he's fat. Me a couple oh, I threw my lure. You bit my lure in half. Man. I missed that one twice, but there may have been a bigger one in there. So I'm gonna go to the Yum Dinger, kind of that was on the Yum Dinger. I'm gonna go to that. It's deeper over this on this bank. I kind of want to do a float, but I kind of want to try these spots at where I, the current's not too bad. I can fight it and yeah. I've caught. Oh, I saw that one hit it. <laughs> Dude, he was on the bank. He was like literally, like barely under the water. Oh, that's not a bad one. He may be 15 inches. Oh, oh all right. well, let's get back in there. Man, he smoked that. That was so cool to see. Josh has been, uh, he said he had to do the same thing. 
but I threw, there's like these rocks right here. I threw right on the rocks. He was, he just, boom, was there. He had to have been sitting right on those rocks. Yeah! Whoa, nice! Oh, easy. Yeah, he's solid. Yeah, that's what I needed. We're hanging out underneath this little, uh, little bush right here. Got him on the yumdinger. Biggest one of the day for me. That's a nice fish. 16 incher. Haven't got anything crazy today, but we got just good, good sized fish. Be good, uh, in the tournament or anytime. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's going on here? I got a. The reverse is gone right there. I'm not pedaling, the reverse has gone out. I have to go forward. Uh-oh, and my, oh, nope. Then the port engaged again. There's something going on with my drive. I think, I thought I saw first state fishing have the same problem recently. I think it's just like a little pin or something probably broke off in there. So my reverse isn't working right now, but luckily we're on our way back to the uh, kayak and we'll, should be able to pedal back. Hopefully the front doesn't go out as I'm going. Oh! <laughs> he was down on the tree. I thought I had something on there, it was weird. Oh, he's a fighting little smolly. Just spit something up. <laughs> Got me wrapped around a tree down there. Well, that's probably going to be the last one, unless we get into something else down here, which could totally happen. Those last two, I was, I was trying a new color. This is a uh, bumblebee swirl, and it's green and black. And um, I think I've got, yeah, last two fish at least on it. Deep right here. Yeah, I'm 18 foot right here, John. And I'm, I'm really close to the bank. It's crazy I felt that bite. Oh, holy cow! <laughs> hit the water and you hit it. In this deep channel. Dude, he hit the water and he hit it. I couldn't believe it. He swallowed the thing. This has been a really good day. Another 14, 13, 14 inch maybe. Yep. Like they've swallowed the thing. So definitely an interesting, interesting fun day. For a nice little five hours, whatever it is. Look at that boat, that boat's blasting back to the ramp. You see him? Oh, uh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, this would really do good in my tournament. Oh, man, this this would make it right here. That's a nice, look how pale he is from being up in this uh, murky water. Let's get a length on him. 17 and a half. I thought he was bigger than that. He's got a big, thick frame. Probably three pounds of fish right there. All right, that's number one. So, uh, nothing really wrong with my kayak. I thought there was something going on with the pedal system. It turns out the uh, nut that holds the uh, like the full wheel or the uh, propeller on was just loose. So when I was back pedaling, it was just coming loose and I was pedaling forward, just tightening it up. So I just cranked it down. It's a replacement nut anyways, so you can use it, do it by hand. So I cranked it down, tested it back out. And that was, uh, when I tested it out, that was the last fish I caught on a spinnerbait. 
I went out for a couple hours and fished this body of water, caught one fish, and that was it. I do love it when they're hitting that spinnerbait, and um, it is starting to get into the fall transition already. And definitely by the time this video is out, it'll probably be starting to get fall. But it's, it's going to be like in the 60s coming up at night, whereas every night's been like 73, 75. So the fi a fish I think are already starting to feed a little bit, and in the rivers, and I've already noticed it in the creeks and some stuff where they're starting to get a little bit more aggressive where they got kind of, I guess, stagnant a little bit in the hot summer. Definitely excited about my kayak tournaments coming up, and uh, by the time this one comes out, I'll probably have I'll probably have several that, like I'm doing pretty soon. And I'm just gonna end this here with a uh, verse in the Bible. And Colossians 3:17 says, "And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him." And this is talking to Christians. So I, I mean, I'm a Christian. So everything I'm doing, I no matter if it's. Uh, no matter what it is, if it's if it's making a video or fishing or doing a tournament or or, or working at my church, I'm trying to, trying to do it all for the Lord, and uh, that's what it's kind of telling us to do. Everything we do, we are to do for the Lord, and I'm definitely thankful for the Lord to give me this opportunity. I'm excited about uh, these videos that I got coming out and the tournaments got coming out. I'm not sure how I'm going to do, but I plan to do the best I can. Thanks for watching.